No. He is a solid worker. When he's given the right material, he is incredibly solid on the mic. And if you put him in the right feud, he will excel, Tom. So I don't know what's okay. going to happen in this match. I, th- I, I, I'm going to say Owens is going to retain because he's going to feud with Jericho somehow, which means someone from SmackDown needs to win the Rumble. I'm like, there's too many moving parts to this. JC. Yes. Boo. Baby girl. Ba- baby girl. Come here. All right. People gonna are going to. Baby girl. People are going to boo Reigns no matter what. They're they're trained at this point. It's it's a Pavlovian. It's like saying Cena sucks. People are just trained to do it. Yeah. What's going to happen? Um, Tell, enlighten me. Please give me some clues so I'm not a freaking train wreck until sunday it's funny that it is i mean there's so many stipulations in this they've they've worked hard to make this match worth something and it's really not i mean i love owens i do and i love that dynamic with him and jericho and that type of thing but i mean owens still isn't coming has he been a successful champion? I can't say that he has. He's just kind of held the belt, and it's, yeah. You know, and I don't know what I wanted off. And I think it was kind of a panic thing to put the belt on him in the first place. In that they had, and I don't even, who was in that match? There was like Owens, Owens, Reigns, Reigns Rusev. And big cast, I think. Yeah. No, and it's like no, no. Rollins was in that four way too because that's when Triple H screwed him. Okay. Oh right, 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 right. Never right. mind. So I think I don't remember. That was a long time ago, and I was so distraught then. Right, because it, it it had the double turn because you had you had Triple H come and attacked. Attacked Rollins to hand the belt. No, but before that, he attacked. Um, I'll say Rusev. I guess I don't know. He attacked whoever that person was, because we were down to three. Oh right, right, right. And I guess Cassie got eliminated before, and like say Rusev was doing well, and Triple H came down and attacked Rusev, allowing. Rollins to get the pin so Rollins felt he was like oh cool you know this is going to roll on and then you had the double swerve that he turns around and attacked Rollins and then gave Owens the belt All right well how's this going to how's this one going to shake out on Sunday Tom uh I just assume Reigns is going to win because well Reigns is going to win and they've got too many things aiming in his direction in that um Jericho's in the cage and I guess the no disqualification match, but I guess that that just invites other run-ins. So I assume Triple H gets involved in some aspect, but at the same time, maybe that's when say Triple H gets involved and then Rollins gets involved to maybe like counteract the interference. I don't know, but I'm assuming there's some tomfoolery there and Reigns ends up getting the title from Owens because I think they just need to get the belt off of Owens and that would leave that kind of door open, say, to WrestleMania that allows for Owens versus Jericho for, say, the U.S. title. Cool. All right, Tom, you ready to move on to the, to the big to the big boy, the Royal Rebel match? Uh, I think we may need some help, though. Yes, let me uh, let me get our guests on the line. All right, everyone, we are now joined by, I guess we could call them our forefathers in podcasting, Mike and Derek from Section328.com and the Cheaters Never Win podcast. Hello, boys. Uh, we, we prefer to be called podcasting legends. Okay. Thank you. I'll remember and, that. And I will, just, I will just take anything that is uh, not a kick in the shins. <laughs> well, well you're, you're a tall gentleman, so you have to expect that to come every once in a while. 
I'm actually thinking about performing sweet shin music to Derek right now. Oh, no. <laughs> well, they are here to uh, help us with our discussion of the 30-man Royal Rumble match. Uh, it's 30 men ma- now? 30 men. All 30. Theoretically 30 men, because there have been women in the past, and we still have eight slots available, so it's possible that a woman could be in one of those slots. There was also a Royal Rumble in which I would say there were only 28 men because Mick Foley entered three times. (laughs) This is true. We had a Royal Rumble where we had not one, not two, but three announcers joined the Royal Rumble, so... No, that didn't happen. And, and, we've uh, had Drew, more. We've had we've had more announcers than Vianos in Royal Rumbles, so <laughs> that's impressive. <laughs> All right, well, let's start with with the first, the big question: Who's going to win the Rumble this year? Mike, you you want this one? I know we're we're all going to get able to watch the Royal Rumble, and we don't want to give away our picks. Too but late. Do it now. Our picks. Uh, so, I believe the winner of this year's Royal Rumble will be. None other than the dead man. I mean, it, it's simple. Taker's Taker's taking it. Oh, I see. Right. I don't think it's that simple. It is that simple. It's but it's it's not going to be Undertaker Undertaker. It's going to be a badass biker Undertaker. Oh, no, God, not yes. the biker taker. Yes. No. Uh, it's my yard, Vince. Vince is my yard. So that means no. we have to have Limp Biscuit show up too. I mean, nope. is Fred Durst still alive? Yes. Good, good to know. Oh, I knew, no. I knew that. Of, I knew that way too quickly. I'm pretty sure it's part of Insane Clown Posse now. Oh, so he's he'll be busy at a JC, He'll be at a JCW gig that weekend. So uh, I don't think he'll be available. <laughs> I am also going to go with a guy that is not currently on the full time roster to win the Royal Rumble. I'll go with the guy who's not even on the part time main roster. That's right, making his debut and winning the Royal Rumble, Samoa Joe. Ooh. Bold. Oh, bold. oh yeah. It's bold. bold so, I mean, look, so, you, you have, and we can get, so JC, I don't want to jump the gun here and, and give away why I think that. So should I, should I hold off on that? Go or? ahead. Go ahead. So you bring him up at 30 because you have to have some mystique at 30. It's not fun for everybody when you know, like, okay, well, Goldberg has to come out because he's last. And that kind of builds or removes some of the hype around number 30 to me. But you have Joe debut. Enough people know his name from being in the indies for 10 plus years and then being an NXT and crushing it for a little while. But have him come out, have him be a badass, have him win. And then like, oh, depending on how the other matches go, like the idea of him and Styles at Mania. Oh, oh, I'm I'm so excited. All right. Here you go, Tom. I mean, I could I guess I could see that happen. And and I love for him to come down to ringside with Stewie Griffin following him playing the tuba, but, um, (laughs) and that's a clip. That's a complete different thing that you can't do in a podcast, but, um, my pick to win the Royal rumble this year is. You can say it. No, let's go with the Miz and I admit the Miz has been my pick for random things for whatever reason the for the last couple of podcasts that hopefully no one has ever actually heard but um I think that this I mean he's bounced around with the Intercontinental title a couple of times now that he doesn't have it again uh he's been running hotter than pretty much anybody else and I could see it, it's. I think it's time for him to angle towards a world title shot again. Like, I mean, it's it's hard to remember back that far when he actually was a world champion, but he seems in more of a position now that I, he could be a legitimate, and JC's yelled at me for saying this, but he could be a legitimate flare-level heel at this point. Oh, and if you've got a flare-level heel, you've got to put a belt on him. So let, let's let's go with the Miz. Why not? For, for the record, I don't hate that pick. I, Mike Mazowski. That, that, that's Ms. Annan? Mike Mazowski. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mike Mazowski? I, I like that. Yeah. The one-eyed <laughs> now, guy from Monsters, Inc.? I kind of want to see that in the Rumble. 
I, I also wanted to see like the Miz, like Mizowski's uh, sausage and peppers <laughs> restaurant <laughs> selling kielbasas and pierogies. Yeah, he could borrow Dean's hot dog cart. It'd be great. <laughs> uh, Lord. Well, I have to side with Mike and say The Undertaker because John Cena is going to have to defend that strap against somebody. And then we finally we finally get the dream match since Sting and Undertaker was stolen away from us. But see, I don't dream of Cena and Taker. How do you? I don't. I don't think that'd be a great match. When was the last great Undertaker match? La- um, who did he fight? I can't remember. Who don't you dare last say year. last year. Last year was. Who was last year? God, I can't even remember. I'm, I'm pretty sure Draws Kid walked so, last time I saw. Oh, that, that, that was Shane. That, that was Shane McMahon. Oh yeah, that, that was that was that was really not a great match, match. Yeah. right? That was, was a spot, right? Was the one against Bray Wyatt a great match? No, that was terrible, right? Okay, so now we're expecting a guy who's at least two years removed from his last great match to put on a great match. Nah, but with <sighs> see, I like I like Taker Lesnar solely for that one spot where like they both sat up and Taker did that insane laugh and. We pretty much gifted it for eternity. Yeah, but I mean that was what Undertaker's move set was like, straight out of Parappa the Rapper. Dick punch, it's all <laughs> in the mind. I'll give you. So Undertaker's last great match was definitely the Triple H Hell in a Cell at twenty eight, twenty eleven, I think. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so six years ago. Yeah, but WWE at this time is all about cre- creating moments. And the spectacle, and there would be no bigger spectacle, st- spectacle, spectacle on the grandest stage of them all than John Cena versus The Undertaker, a passing of the torch, if you will, to a guy who's already like at the time when he's passed the torch to someone else. Is, right, I was one, say, one part timer to the next part timer. Is someone not in the match going to pick up the torch? Because <laughs> that's like Bill Russell and Shaq passing the torch to one another right now. <laughs> So are you saying that – again, I just want to make sure I've got your logic here, JC. Uh, so Cena beats Styles. Taker wins the uh, Rumble, both of which I agree. And then Taker beats Cena at WrestleMania. So Monday after WrestleMania or Tuesday after WrestleMania – does Taker just basically lay down the strap in the middle of the ring? They walk away, and that gives the WWE another reason to do another tournament, which is the one thing they have done flawlessly for the last 12 months? No, I think Undertaker stares at the lights for three seconds, and he is, he's gone. That is the end of The Undertaker. Well, there's like nine minutes for him to leave the ring. Well, yeah. a lot of applause, a lot of thank you, Taker, and then he's gone. But I And then that. will Kane come out and they'll both like throw fists up in the air again and so everybody can get their picture that day? <laughs> Kane will give him a Viking funeral. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, but you guys are also assuming that like nothing would happen at what? what's the February pay-per-view? Like roadblock front of the line or... <laughs> Uh, oh, Raw, has, Raw has Fast Lane uh, and SmackDown has Elimination Chamber. In oh, three that's weeks. Right, the chamber. Yeah, Chamber's chamber in two in weeks. Three weeks. Yeah. Jesus. That's a lot of wrestling. Isn't it great? Yeah, yeah, I hope so. I mean, I'm really excited about this weekend, despite all the skeptical things I say. Well, and, and here's the beautiful thing. Last year, we all knew, walking into that, we're like, oh, we hope the matches before the Rumble are good, and we hope something neat happens in the middle of the Rumble, because we know Roman Reigns is walking out at the end of the Rumble. Big dog. You know, pointing to the sign. At least this year, we don't absolutely know that Vince is going to push his freaking chosen one on us. Uh, we're actually going to potentially have something fun and exciting happen, you know, that doesn't involve that greasy bastard. Um, question for the crowd here. Would it be the greatest heel move of all time if Roman Reigns beat Kevin Owens and then entered the Rumble and won? Oh, God, <laughs> And yes. then just pointed to himself? I kind of want that to happen. I want to see it. I want to see the, uh, the tears. 
then they could set up a number one contenders match and then Roman Reigns can win that too. <laughs> he's like, he's just going to sit at WrestleMania in the middle of the ring for nine minutes and say, suffer and suck a tash and tater tots. <laughs> <laughs>